Hello guys, my name is Sam and today I'm here to show you how to do the overshoot text effect. Okay, first of all, let's create a new composition. Uh, I'm making it 1920 by 1080 pixels at 25 frames per second for 30 seconds. Okay. I'm going to create a background because I do not really like the background right now. I'm going to make it blue, name it BG, and make it my comp size. Okay, I'm going to click on my text tool and click on my active window or viewport to create some text. I'm going to type in TEXT, which stands for text. I'm using the Sanchez font regular. Okay, I right now I want to get my align window to align my text up. Click on my text, align vertically and horizontally. I now I'm going to press V to get my selection tool. Now to pull off this effect, we need three animators: two scale animators and one rotation animator. Okay. First of all, let's create the scale animator. Go into text, animate, add a scale animator. Go to range, set it to zero. Go to range selector, add a keyframe in the start, press shift page down twice to go ahead, 20 frames, change the value from 0 to 100, press enter and press shift page down twice, add a keyframe and shift page down twice, change the value from 100 to 0, press enter and let's see what we did. Oh, it's animating out the wrong way. So here's what we can do. We can go to the start of the animating out, add a keyframe in the offset, go one frame ahead by pressing page down only, change the value from 0 to negative 100, press enter and press shift page down twice, and change the value to 0. Press enter and it should look good. Yep, it's looking good. Okay. Go to the beginning of the animation. Now we need to add a scale animator. Click on the, your text layer. Go to animate and add a scale animator. Change the range to... I'm going to change it to 120, I guess. Okay. Go to my range selector. Add a keyframe in the beginning. Press shift page down twice. Change the value from 0 to 100. Press enter, press shift page down twice, change the value from 100 to 0, oh wait, uh, just add a keyframe there, sorry, then press shift page down twice, change the value from 0 to 100, oh 100 to 0, I'm sorry, and we have to fix the offset as well, add a keyframe in the beginning of the animating out, and then go one frame ahead by pressing um, page down only and change the value from 0 to minus 100. Press enter and press shift page down twice. Change the value to 0. Press enter and let's see what we did. Okay, I want to change the scale to maybe 140 just to make it a bit more bigger. Let's see how it looks. Oh, here's another way to make it more obvious. We can click on all the frames and press Alt and use the arrow key to stagger them. I pressed it twice. Okay, looking good. Now, I'm going to add one more animator, which is the rotation animator. Okay. First of all, we need to add a rotation animator. Change the value to 90. Go to the beginning of the animation. Range selector. Add a keyframe at the start and press shift page down twice. And change the value from 0 to 100. Press shift page down. White. Add a keyframe there. 
and shift page down twice. Change the value from 100 to 0. Press enter. And change. add the offset. Keyframe. Hit down once. Change the value from 0 to minus 100. And then press enter. Then shift page down twice. Change the value to 0. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Now, let's see what we did. Okay, looks good. And to make it even more sophisticated, we can go to the, our third animator and add a property, enable per character 3D. And go to the beginning, and on the Y rotation, make it 90 degrees. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks good. One last preview. So ladies and gentlemen, that was it on making the overshoot text effect. If you did like this, please do rate, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a like.